Hey everyone, it's Nick, AKA Dad from Monkey Business Off-Road, and we are here at SEMA, finally. We made it, had a late flight that got delayed, and then uh, had to get some sleep. So finally got our badges and everything, so we are all official here at SEMA, and just left to get our badges, and now walked out here to a ton of vehicles, including this big bagged truck and more to come. So, so hang tight. We're gonna go through it and show you as much as we can, but enjoy the ride. Holy cow, check this thing out. I don't even, I don't even know what to say. Like, is that a, is that a three foot lift? <laughs> Something like this that. This is crazy sitting on, uh, I mean, this is bigger than a semi truck rim. That's for sure. Hydraulic steering. I mean, this is all custom work on this thing. Wow. I mean, it'd, get, it'd be easy to do an oil change on, that's for sure. <laughs> Super cool. It's even got a custom audio system inside. You can see it. That's ah, crazy. But yeah. All bagged. It's even got it's even got uh, speakers back here, underneath the truck, and a step to get into the bed. So you kind of need that on this type of truck. This is huge. Just like this guy behind us with its rack of speakers in the back. Looks like they uh, tried to go with the speed boat approach on on that one. Exactly. All right, keep going. I don't know what it is, but I love these COEs or cab over engines. These things are so cool. And this has been really well done. Gorgeous interior. It's like all leather. And they've got this really cool bed on the back. Obviously they had to make this because these cab over engines were built for like Oh, hauling things, tow trucks back in the day. It's got an awesome looking paint job to it. It's like a dark merlot. But yeah, these COEs are just super cool. <laughs> Done by the Hims the Engineer. It's just gorgeous. I love that pink one. I think it looks black, but then it looks like a Merlot at the same time. That is really cool. Tyler and I were just walking by this and it just kind of caught my eye. I thought it was just a Chevy pickup truck, but it's a, I believe it's a K5 Blazer, which I'm not usually a Chevy guy, but you know, with the Broncos being back and that, and Toyota's coming back out with the Land Cruiser, just kind of bringing back some of these cool things. And this has got a ton of work done to it. It's got King shocks, bump stops, Curry front differential on it. Got like a carbonized gray type paint job. Oh, it's a manual fiber on the inside. They did. Manual transmission. Actually, it's got high and low gears for both rear, rear and front differentials. Man, they put a lot of work into this. Look at this. This is awesome. That red interior really looks sharp with the... Oh, with that gray? With gray yeah, I was just thinking about exterior. that. Yeah. Inside. Lift gate. I mean, Hostel Off-Road Wheels is who's kind of sponsored this build, it looks like. It's just super cool. I mean, this thing is built for off-roading. It really looks like by all the suspension work done to it. Dang. Pretty sweet. Only here at SEMA. Yeah, we were just walking by and caught this caught my eye. I believe it's a Dodge Challenger, and those wheels they got Viper wheels on it are tucked way up in there too. I mean, it's sitting low. It's got like a pearlescent glow to it. The white. Oh, it's all Viper on the inside. I remember when I worked for a Dodge dealership, we had a, a Viper on the showroom floor. Same, same shifter. So it's almost like they took a Challenger body and put it on top of 
a Viper chassis. Another car that Tyler saw was a Nissan GTR here. Team Elevate. Not really coming up real well in the video here, but kind of a mustard gold. Tons of carbon fiber on it. Super low. But it's sitting here in the shade, so maybe later we'll come back to it and really see what the paint looks like. But that is gorgeous. Love these GTRs. Really good looking, really good looking vehicles and super fast too. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, I want to watch the new uh, Turismo movie. I don't know if you've seen that yet or not, but um, kind of about the Nissan legacy. Oh yeah, just absolutely amazing what they what they can do with these cars. Oh yeah, I had a, had a customer that had a GTR. Man, those things are fast and they stick to the road really well. Coming up on the Super Duty, which is kind of Tyler and I's uh, forte. We know a little bit about these things, but this is far from stock. Looks like a, we got King shocks in here. Everything's been painted to match the truck. Hydraulic front steering, I mean, open country Toyo tires. Those are 22s by you know, 40, by 15 and a half, by 22. Uh, Roto packs. I'd love to get some of those for our Bronco. I haven't spanked them yet. Oops, sorry. That's yeah, super cool. Here, this is how big this truck is. That's Tyler standing next to it. I mean, he's right next to it, and he's probably got a little. He's got about about three inch lift because we're on the sidewalk, and he's and this is on the street. That is another one that is. Here, now he's on the street. Let me back. Back it up, I mean, top of his head is coming to the fog light. So, another awesome build here at SEMA. Rigid lights, crazy suspension and bar system underneath. I mean, who wouldn't want to get their picture with something like this? This is, and it's a Dodge, looks like Mega Cab. What are the size of these tires, though? Holy cow. 44 by 16 and a half by 30. You're never gonna oh guess my where gosh. This, you're never gonna guess where this one's from. Texas. This one's from Texas. Everything's oh, bigger, bigger in, and Texas. in Texas. That's right. Holy cow, look at this thing. You gotta have a two-step to get in the tailgate. Wow. Started as a longhorn edition. <laughs> Laramie Longhorn edition. Oh look at the air. We also got the setup for air horns, but not just a couple. We've got seven on this one. So just to make sure people know you're coming. All right, for all you Jeep guys out there, walking up the street here, found this, a J10, but <laughs> besides the body being stuck, that's about where it ends. Again, just over the top suspension, all powder coated in the same color. Locked suspension on it, coil overs. Everything's pretty much stock on the inside, but that's about it. Everything's been coated underneath, painted. Looks like we've taken off the bed, or at least the uh, tailgate, and replaced it with tire holders <laughs> yeah that is that's a pretty cool truck hey look it's a Ford Raptor but it's not just any Raptor this thing has been totally seamified this dude is a six-wheel Raptor. Check this out. 
Fox Racing shocks. Got to put two coilovers on the back of this one. New frame had to be obviously welded a little bit longer, but that's kind of where it is. I mean, it, it, other than that, it really looks like a stock code orange Raptor. Did a really great job, I mean, <laughs> looking at the frame. You know, it. Uh, you really can't tell in the setup down here. Other than, you know, you got a spring perch here that it didn't cut off. But this kind of shows you where it kind of was set up. So, really cool. 2024 Mustang, but not just any Mustang. This is the Dark Horse. And the paint job on this thing is crazy. I think they've wrapped it and then painted on top of it. Just kind of threw paint on there. Um, kind of gives it a like a, a graffiti look. Super cool. <laughs> if you like the looks of this, turtle underscore S650. We'll make sure to tag them in this uh, video. But yeah, uh, Tyler and I haven't really seen a dark horse like really in person yet until this one. I mean, this thing is cool. This must have been one of the very first ones because they just started producing these not long ago. And they've obviously done some modification because we've got this tire tucked up in here. Like, it almost looks like it's probably rubbing <laughs> if it rides like this. So I'm assuming we've got some air ride or something. Looks like they left the stock tires on there too, the Michelin. The Michelin's sports. around there, yeah. That is... The wheel swap with the carbon fiber looks really, really good. Oh, yeah. But it is on the ground. You can see that carbon fiber chin spoiler here. I mean, it's down there. But it's a cool paint job. I mean, it definitely catches your attention. Well, just found a row of Nissan Zs here. This one's got like a matte color to it again probably a wrap a lot of people are doing the wraps now we've also got this one kind of like a cement gray color i don't know what it is about these cars i just i've always loved the nissan 240z's the originals but when they came out with this just kind of takes true to that form of a sleek car where I always thought the 350 and 370Z were a little little big in the, in the rear quarter panels. These are just a lot sleeker looking kind of in tradition with that 240Z. Um, but can't wait to see like 500 or the 400Zs at this convention. <laughs> then we've got more Zs here. Another Z. In kind of a, let's say like a ruby red. Super awesome. Not quite my bread and butter. I still love the cars. Having the Bronco now, definitely. But you can appreciate when someone does a lot of work on their own car. And here we go. This is what I love. Or one of the things I love. I like them all. Um, Bronco. It's a 6th gen, obviously. Definitely had some suspension work on it. Got Belltech uppers. Looks like we might, uh, yeah. <laughs> Did a lot to here. I, it looks like we've even upgraded the CVs. Not sure if this is the original paint color. I mean, ingot silver would have been what this was. Definitely has the power boards. <laughs> Looks like a real beadlock possibly on these uh, 37, 13 and a half, 20s. And again, more color matched. Bell tech back here. Trailing arms. Yeah, this has got a lot going on for it. 
<laughs> that almost looked like a raptor reinforcement, but I'm not sure that that is. It looks uh, like a custom piece. <laughs> Painted fender flares. Tent on the front windows and all the way around. Yeah. Good looking Bronco. <laughs> Got the KC lights on top. Alright, so for our guys who love that 78 through was it 96 Bronco, the, the full size, here you go. This thing is sweet. Thirty-seven by thirteen and a half on twenty twos. Full suspension done to it. I really love that blue. That is super sharp. TIS forged. They do the wheels, but this is one of their builds. All done interior. Kind of really like that. Reminds me of the King Ranch trucks leather with the rear seat. Looks like we've even got a sound system done in it. Lower links, I mean it's really nice. Good looking truck. More to come from SEMA. Stay tuned. All right, so check this out. We just came across this. We had no idea what it was. Resbani. I thought it was something like a Jeep Gladiator when it first started life. But looking over it, maybe it did. But this thing is electric. There is no exhaust on this thing. It's a 6x6 Fox Racing shocks. <laughs> this is, I mean, it's got kind of a flat blue paint job. And it has the uh, jet ski in the back, the old school jet ski. But yeah, it's all electric by what we can see. <laughs> Even Tyler came and looked at it. It's got a like a Mini Cooper looking steering wheel or something in there. It's it's kind of what their logo looks like. But I think it started off as a Jeep Gladiator. They call it Hercules, it looks like in there. Pretty crazy. The first electric we've seen and it ends up being a 6x6 Jeep Gladiator. Crazy. Yeah, just turned the corner and found this. This has got the Baja kits. Uh, I believe it's like a medium travel suspension on it. So they've got uppers and a lower. King shocks, which gives it a lot more travel. But then they've also got the Anderson Composites body panels on it. <laughs> what they called the donut doors, where you can look right through there. Which Ford never came out with, but Anderson's did. And it's a wild track with cloth interior. But again, had the big fenders on the back. You can see where the body gets adapted there with that panel. More King shocks back here. So we can get down in there, yeah. Fiberworks did the. Uh, body panels as far as the rear quarters and front fenders. Anderson Composites did the donut doors, I'm sure. Pretty, pretty cool build. We thought about doing something like this with the Bronco. I think, uh, I think that fender might be a little bit more than I want to go. I mean, definitely looks like a Baja truck, but might be a little bit wider than I'm ready to go for. But you never know. Yeah, so walking down here, found a Justin Pollock's drift car. He's getting in. Looks like he's getting ready to go. Maybe we'll get to hear this thing start up. Is this 
the idea of gripping is cool. Cars that I remember you remember the conversation I had with you about limiter, right? As he was well, I'm gonna need to hear that limiter. I need to hear that girl sing. Okay, then let's make it sing, baby. Come on now! Get those wild limiters up, Seema! Seema! truck that just got done with a race over here in the Hoonigan area. These things are really cool. Alright guys, well that is the end of the day for us. It has been a long day. We've got a lot of footage to go through and uh, we'll get it to you guys soon. But we appreciate you watching, as always. And uh, like we always say, have a blessed day. Bye.